Hey, what's up, guys? Um, <clears throat> I'm actually here bringing you guys a video today. We're gonna be using a poor man's charge blade build, which is what I I have on PC. So I decided to use it as well on Xbox, so that I can show you that you don't have to overcomplicate your sets to make it viable. You can just keep it simple from just straight armor skills. Now. I don't have a tenderizer, so I'm just going to take that off on PC, but I do have the rest of these decorations on PC. I did get lucky when I, when I got the Elementless. I got it, like, right <laughs> as soon as I decided to, you know, level up the Charge Blade, and I did a couple more quests, and I ended up getting Elementless right after, which is great. So this is the exact build that I'm running on PC. Now, you don't need the food buff, I mean, uh, the free meal. You don't need it. I'm just running it because why not? It's free meal. And it's what I run on PC. So we're going to go ahead and go straight into the Luna fight. Uh, we're going to be fighting Temper Luna for this. Uh, I want to show you how well this build holds up against Temper Luna. So we're going to go straight into it. Now, we kept it quick and short right at the beginning since there's not nothing really to overcomplicate the build. What you do want to concentrate on is having artillery charm. Now, artillery charm is quite easy to make until you get to the last part of the charm, which requires you to have one Teostra gem. So if those, those gems are like impossible to get, then go right ahead. Um, go right ahead and switch them out get a different gem i think you can get a what's this decoration uh no actually yeah you can get like the gold print and then just get the gem but for the most part aside from that that's probably the only way so we're gonna go eat for bombardier you always want to make sure you have meal vouchers so that you can get the most out of it now you don't want to use it for every quest so let's say only some quests so if you find in certain monsters like uh some tempered elders and you're solo in them then go right ahead but mew boxers are actually great if you're playing a party of four maybe one of your buddies might want to drop one for you and maybe you don't have to drop one every time so let's go right ahead one faint nice let's do this Now, when you eat that food skill, the one that I that I ate for for this fight is gonna increase your impact file damage. It may not say it there, but it would increase the damage of your impact files. So let's get ready. Let's get our buffs going. Now, one of the few things you want to look out when you're fighting um, when you're fighting Luna here is the fire. You really want to look out for that fire, especially if you're standing on it. It's really bad since it is going to do a lot of tick damage. So let's actually get our buffs going. Like that little blue spot right there is actually taking quite some health for me. So let's actually see. Oh. So we're going to go ahead and drop some files. Hopefully it doesn't move. Even if he does a little bit of damage to us, it'll be fine. Now, there are reasons why I'm running the armor set that I am running. Like, if you're running why I'm not using a magazine jewel. I'm actually using the Dorogata uh, Greaves, which is what I can only use on PC since I don't have a magazine jewel, which is kind of sucks. So, right there. Just gonna rinse and repeat. Now, you don't need attack decorations for impact charge blades. It's only gonna increase the physical damage if you do use uh, impact charge, uh, if you do use attack decorations. And it's only gonna increase, I think, your charge blade damage by one point. So, artillery is a lot better and a lot more useful skill than the attack. So, let's get this buff going before he leaves. And yes, we got it. All right. So let's sharpen our weapon. Now, <clears throat> now that we got our, our buffs going, let's eat our seeds. Hopefully we can kill him here and not have him run away or anything. I really don't want him to run. 
All right. You always want to have your sword charge, especially when you fight tempered monsters, because you, the last thing you want is your weapon to bounce off them. So we're just going to go ahead straight for the files. Let's do it. Now, there are some monsters that you want to be careful with, like when you're using uh, the sword, just because, like I said, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna keep your weapon from bouncing off the monster. So always, always charge your sword. It may not seem useful because it's only gonna do like a little bit, but it does give you impact. It does give you stun values, so it's actually great to have. Like that, that's a stun value hit. So let's go ahead and get this going. I'm gonna have some over here and then get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Take this. There we go. All right. All right, we're gonna drop another one. Let's do it. One right after the other. Let's do this. Nope, fuck. I don't want him to leave, so let's actually just flash him. Even if he is gonna blow up. No, he's still going. Damn it. Whatever. That's fine. We'll kill him. We'll kill him in, uh, we'll kill her in her room. Fuck it. This kind of sucks, so <clears throat> let's put bombs down. Do we even have bombs? Oh, yeah, we do. I just ran right by them like three times. All right. So whenever you're in this situation and you don't have uh, your charge, I mean, your, your hit alone, like this one, will actually do quite a lot. So just drop this instead. Always keep your distance. There we go. <laughs> that was good. All right. So we did Temper Luna in under, under five minutes. Not bad with the charge blade. Uh, but yeah, this is the poor man's build, so I just wanted to test it out and show you guys that it actually does work. Um, so yeah, let me show you the buffs again. Uh, we're running only 3 health, 3 focus, 3 artillery, 2 weakness exploit, 1 capacity boost, guard, free element, uh, free meal I mean, and non-elemental boost. Now, all those skills are actually coming out from the build itself. Maybe a couple of them aren't, like the health boost and uh, non-elemental, which is the only two decorations I have on the build. But for the most part, you should be having a, a pretty good build with this. Even if you don't have non-elemental, and then and non-elemental like as the decoration, you don't really 100% need it. Diablo's charge blade is still the strongest charge blade without it. It still would be the strongest charge blade without that decoration. With it just gives it a whole new meaning to the damage. So aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. This was actually quite fun. But uh, yeah, just wanted to you know keep it uh, keep a simple build as simple as possible for you guys to make. Uh, now the rest is actually just perfecting the skill but aside from that guys um, if you guys actually want me to make a tutorial for charge blade then let me know but for the most part I'll catch you guys later peace out and enjoy the rest of the week